New numbers show Idaho is falling behind the rest of the country in school spending. According to the Idaho Education News, Idaho spent a little less than $7,000 per student in the 2014-15 school year. That's the second lowest in the country ahead of Utah. But there is good news for the students. Per pupil spending increased more than 4%. That's much higher than the national average. Governor Otter wants to see a 6% increase in public school spending this year. This portion of KBOI 2 News, Leaders in Learning, is brought to you by CapEd Credit Union. A group of students at one Meridian Elementary School are leading the country in math lessons completed. This is in an online program that's called Dreambox. KBOI 2's Abigail Taylor shows us why these students can't get enough in this week's Leaders in Learning. The goal here is to take what they already want to do and then alter it so they're actually learning while they're doing it and not force them to do something they don't want to do. Long gone are the days of boring math lessons. Well, at least here at Ponderosa Elementary. Well, I suppose it was kind of fun. A lot funner than I thought. It might not look like it, but these students are learning. For them, it's a game, but for me, I, it's a lesson. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, Dreambox teaches it all. With minimal instruction, they're able to move beyond the classroom walls and the brick and mortar, and they're not held back, and they're not beholden to follow the second grade curriculum if that's something that they're ready to move beyond. And Ms. Duckwall's class is doing just that. Several of the students have already surpassed their grade level. And that's not all. This class is the nation's leader in their division for Dreambox games completed. I think the coolest thing was we, like, was we're beating the other classes. How did you do that? We just played and played, and some people played at home, which helped a lot. Apparently, motivating students to work becomes pretty easy when it's something they're excited to do. Actually, have just gotten rid of all the homework and all of the things that they do at home, and we've gone completely to gaming, and it's been so successful. Miss Duckwall says parents are very supportive, and many even let their kids work on math or a play games on the weekend. We love Dreambox! For KBOI 2 News, I'm Abigail Taylor.